Near the city of Magalang on the island of Java in Indonesia, you will come upon a massive structure in the misty rainforests. It's known as the Garaja Ayam, or as most people call it, the Chicken Church. It's truly a foul sight. Before we start, I just want to give a huge shout out to writer Theodora Sarah Abigail, who did some original reporting and wrote an amazing piece on the Chicken Church for Atlas Obscura. It is linked in the video description below and was hugely influential in making this video. So thank you. Rumors of this building have been on the internet for a long time. People thought maybe it was some kind of crazy Dutch colonialist building. Maybe it was some kind of cult. Maybe it was haunted. What it actually is, is the product of a dream. Many of our best ideas come to us in our dreams. And in the case of Daniel Alamja, it happened in 1988. After saying his nightly prayers, he received a vision of a dove with snow white wings resting atop a hill. A voice told him to build a place of worship for all peoples, regardless of faith. And when he woke up, he was like, yeah, I'm not actually gonna do that. But the vision kept nagging at him. He couldn't stop thinking about it. And a couple of years later, he went to visit a coworker who took him to this hilltop. Daniel watched the sunrise on Rima Hill and it happened. As soon as Daniel saw it, he knew that this was the hill from his dream. And after a little more praying, Daniel bought an acre of land on the hill for 3.5 million rupiah, or about $2,000. Keep in mind that Daniel was not this crazy wandering mystic or outsider artist. He worked as a project manager for a chemical company. It's not the background you might expect for someone who went on to build a prayer house after having a vision. And it wasn't simple either. The first four years were just consumed with the paperwork of getting permissions to actually build something like this. But in 1992, he was able to break ground and he got a 30 person crew together and he started building his vision, this huge dove shaped building, which would be open to all kinds of people with all sorts of different religious beliefs. As you might see by the iconography, a dove, a crown, Daniel's a Christian in a country that's 80% Muslim. So people were a little bit suspicious of this project and it shows up in the name, the Chicken Church. Is this some kind of giant Christian cult thing? Daniel kept trying to tell everyone, it's not a chicken, it's not a church, it's a place for all of us to come together. But in truth, the complaints were the least of Daniel's issues. In 2000, he just ran out of money. He'd already built this enormous structure. The exterior was there, but he couldn't finish any of the interior. He had to leave. He had to basically abandon it in the forest. And over time, it became overgrown with vines and trees started growing inside of it. People came and did graffiti and it really did start to feel like the remnants of some crazy chicken cult that someone had been running. This is where you come in. And by you, I mean the internet. 15 years later, after Daniel had had to step away and the chicken church had been largely falling into ruin, it showed up on the internet. This incredible, strange, abandoned space. Pictures of it showed up on Huffington Post. They showed up on Atlas Obscura. It started to make the rounds and something kind of incredible happened. For a long time, you know, a dozen people would show up a week. Suddenly, it went from a trickle to a flood. Daniel was making as much as $2,000 a week from the $1 tickets sold to the visitors. And over the last few years, the Chicken Church has undergone this incredible resurgence. And it's still improving. He has turned these empty concrete rooms into beautiful mural covered spaces. And today, you can not only climb through the church and stand on the crown, but you get a free piece of fried cassava in the cafe located in the butt of the Chicken Church. What a good deal that is. The Chicken Church has actually 
come back. It's come to be what he envisioned. It is literally, in large part thanks to the internet, a dream come true. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel to see other amazing places all over the world. And tell me about what incredible dream project you would build in the comments. I have always wanted to build some kind of elaborate art installation behind a waterfall, uh, but I'd love to hear what your weird, crazy dream project would be.